Hello friends, today I am going to tear down the Bajaj induction stove. We will see the components, the parts, uh, the induction coil of this stove. Just turn it upside down and you need to unscrew it as shown in video. I'm making this fast forward to save the time. Just turn it down and take out the upper case very carefully check out the cables check out the cables it is connected from the switch panel to the motherboard you can see the white cable and I have mentioned several part like induction coil cooling fan on the motherboard and uh, the power cable is coming from the right side this is the induction coil which is fixed with three screws and this is cooling fan and this is the power supply coming to the motherboard so now we will unscrew the switch panel you can see its uh, operating panel PCB switch are connected to these panel only we can control the induction from here so just unscrew this panel oh one more screw is there and one more So this is the switch panel you can see five switches are there and several LEDs indicator the most right one is the power switch and others are temperature up temperature down function key and the timer you can see the arc on the PCB that is a little bit sticky I think that may be oil and dust particle which is stuck in the PCB so this is the cooktop it is made up of uh, translucent glass oh you can see my hand behind the glass it is less visible So now I am taking out the induction coil. That's the heat sensor in the center of the coil. You can see it it's a small thermistor type of sensor it is connected to the motherboard directly from and it can be controlled from that regulator that is the variable regulator so we can vary the temperature of the induction stove So unplug the heat sensor cable, that's the heat sensor. It is just one thermistor connected to the motherboard. And this is the induction coil, so take it off and it is connected to the capacitors. There are two main capacitors in this, this is the heat sink. 
that's the inductor and this this might be resistance I am not sure about it now take out the power supply cable from the motherboard now I am taking the fan cable fan power cable so this is the switchboard panel the control panel cable I am taking it off ok it's done now so that's the panel Now I am going to take out the motherboard. this is the capacitor from where the induction coil is connected this the secondary capacitor and this is the heat sink this is the back side of the PCB the motherboard and this is the voltage regulator IC which is connected to the a heat sink with the help of thermal paste which helps to release the heat from the IC there are two voltage regulator IC Now I am placing the motherboard, just to screw it up, connect the fan power supply cable now fix the heat sensor on the induction coil and connect the heat sensor cable to the motherboard so now we screw up the induction coil with the chassis fix the power supply cable
Now fix the control panel cable. Okay, it's done. So place the control panel on the upper case and screw it up. Now close the induction. Just fix the upper case and the lower case together. Now turn it down and tight all the screws. Okay, it's the last screw and now it's done. Thank you for watching video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel.